Assalamu alaikum guys. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel uh, Data Visionary and welcome to this uh, tutorial. Today we will perform text analysis uh, which will be a YouTube case study. Okay, so let's begin. So we all are aware of uh, about YouTube and we all know YouTube is exactly the second most visited site in the world. So just try to imagine how much huge chunk of data YouTube is generating, right? So now the question that came across your mind, what type of analysis you guys can perform on this YouTube data? So that's basically an overview of what type of analysis you can go ahead with this YouTube video. Okay, here we will uh, perform uh, sentiment analysis uh, by uh, word cloud uh, visualization. Okay, here uh, this visualization help us to find the uh, text analysis but like uh, the good text or bad uh, text uh, by increasing the uh, size of the okay text okay so here this is positive sentiment analysis and next uh, have emoji analysis um, so here from here we can uh, extract uh, the information or the data uh, by uh, emoji analysis then we can perform uh, trending video analysis in youtube okay we can find out the video that are on trend in uh, youtube right now by analyzing the data set uh, and uh, and plotting the uh, data uh, like this visualization okay so we are going to uh, doing all of this uh, into our uh, upcoming uh, analysis okay so without delaying let's move further okay so first uh, let's uh, create a file uh, named youtube analysis dot ipynb okay and then import the libraries that we are going to use in this uh, particular analysis pandas and import numpy as np import uh, matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and import uh, import um, seaborn as sns and uh, the other uh, library or package that uh, we have discussed before uh, text blob right so we need to uh, first install this package into our environment okay uh, I have already installed this uh, package so this is uh, showing requirement already satisfied for me okay so I'm going to directly import this <coughs> from text blob import text blob okay 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 then our next uh, task first let's imp import our data set okay repeat uh, dot uh, read csv function okay and then select the path of our file that we are uh, that we want to import here okay, first of all we are going to import us comments file which is a csv file us comments dot csv okay and store this uh, data frame uh, this will output uh, as data frame right so we'll store it in let's say df variable now run it this command and uh, here we we're getting an error which is an parser which is a parser error so actually this error is uh, shows uh, when um, python 
or the compiler is receiving or this read csv file is receiving uh, something other than uh, csv format right because csv format means a comma separated value uh, all the value will be separated uh, by comma or using comma but uh, when there are something else than comma uh, like tab okay some data is um, maybe in this file some data are uh, using something else than comma so this is the reason for this error behind this error uh, parser error okay so to uh, get rid of this error we will use a handy tool called uh, error bad lines okay okay so now uh, let's say we are uh, we want to see our data set but since our data set is huge so we are going to see top 5 or let's say top 10 uh, uh, data from our data set so for this uh, we will select uh, we will use a function uh, which is head uh, that is a uh, built in function uh, so df.head will return uh, 5 top 5 uh, data from the data set right if we uh, we can use also parameter if we select 10 or use 10 then we'll get top 10 data from our data set okay so by default uh, this returns only 5 top 5 data so uh, this is our uh, we can see there are one two four columns or four features in our data set like video id then comment text and likes replies okay okay now we will look for uh, null values we will check if there are any null values so for this uh, select write uh, df dot uh, is null dot sum okay so we get 25 null values in comment text okay so we cannot work with uh, null values so let's just remove them <coughs> or drop them for this i uh, will select df dot uh, drop null i will use drop null function uh, where a uh, subset will be the this specific column like comment uh, comment text and i will set this changes in uh, main data set okay so i will use in place true okay now if we again check for null values let's say what we get so there are zero null values right so all of the null values uh, get dropped so now we can uh, analyze uh, our uh, now we can move our uh, further analysis in this feature okay so okay since uh, we are going to perform sentiment analysis in this part uh, first need to know what is sentiment analysis so sentiment analysis uh, consists uh, with two terms one is polarity and another one is subjectivity so what is polarity like in a comment text text or in a sentence uh, if there is a, the expression of like emotions okay like uh, we like this tutorial or i like him or this is my favorite show these are the examples where polarity is present okay so we'll be knowing more about them uh, in further analysis okay so let's uh, move further what is text blob text blob is a python package uh, which is also nlp library uh, nlp means natural language uh, processing uh, which uh, built on top of natural language processing toolkit okay so this is the information we need to know about text blob because this is most widely used uh, packages to perform sentiment analysis okay so let's move further okay so using text blob function uh, let's say uh, we are going to use this uh, okay let's trending this uh, sentence okay this text we are going to uh, implement uh, like sentiment anal analysis or sentiment analysis in this text using text blob uh, function so here dot sentiment okay so we can see that uh, this text the polarity and subjectivity 
is zero okay the polarity and subjectivity of this text is zero that means uh, this text uh, doesn't uh, express that much emotions and also this uh, text doesn't contain any subject okay so we get the uh, information necessary information uh, only for this particular text so what we are going to do now uh, we will mm, analyzing the same thing uh, for all of the common text okay in uh, present in this data set so let's uh, do this for this uh, make a empty list called polarity where uh, we'll be storing the polarity and subjectivity value okay okay so for this i will mm, make a loop where to where i can get access all of the comment text okay so for this i will say for comment in uh, df data frame let's say comment uh, text for comment in comment text okay that means for uh, let's say this single sentence in comment comment text okay so what I'm going to do, uh, I will uh, get the access of uh, to find the polarity and subjectivity uh, of the comment or particular text uh, by using text blob function. Okay, so say comment and then dot sentiment. And to get the access uh, of this particular value uh, polarity so we can uh, use dot polarity if we type dot polarity we can get only the value of this uh, polarity okay so let's check okay that is we are going to use in this loop okay so dot polarity okay now we are going to uh, append this value into our list so here i'm going to use polarity dot append and this okay okay and Okay, now uh, here uh, if we want to access uh, our polarity list by let's say choosing a range of 0 to 100 then okay we get the uh, polarity value here we get only the polarity value because uh, we only appended the polarity of the sentiment okay so here you can see in the maximum number is uh, zero okay and then some of them are negative and some of some of them are positive okay now if i uh, want to um, add this feature right this polarity this is a new feature that is not present in our uh, main data set so we, I, what i want to do is uh, this add this or merge this feature into this uh, into our main data set okay so how can we do that uh, for this uh, let's call that df make a new uh, feature called polarity and set uh, this features value is equal to our list value okay so let's say uh, the value of the list uh, this polarity okay will be the value of this new feature uh, and which will be added into our data set okay main data set so polarity uh, now uh, now if we uh, look into our data set uh, df dot head we can see that a polarity a new feature column has been added called uh, named polarity okay so if you want to see top 20 okay we can see that uh, uh, now we can understand the polarity okay with respect to this co comment text what actually this polarity means 
if we uh, look at negative value of this polarity uh, you can say the, uh, if we uh, look at the negative value of the polar of a polarity uh, where in at common text uh, it is saying you and your shit brother may have single hand okay so this common text uh, contains some negative impression negative expression uh, that's why the polarity is uh, showing as negative value okay so now i think uh, we are cleared uh, what actually uh, how um, how relative okay how relatable uh, the comment uh, polarity with respect to this comment text okay so uh, next we are going to perform word uh, cloud analysis word cloud of positive and negative sentences okay so first we need to understand uh, what is positive and negative sentences in this uh, data set so we will uh, define positive sentence uh, whose polarity is nearly equal one okay or positive and the negative sentence as the polarity uh, which polarity uh, is negative or minus one so let me uh, give you a view of this okay now check for uh, positive sentences uh, to check for positive sentences uh, I will check if uh, there are polarity of one the every sentences that has the polarity of one they are, are known as positive sentences right this is our uh, this is the logic behind uh, we are calling this positive or ne negative sentences right so now okay now extract uh, the uh, sentences right that are positive from our data set or data frame uh, to do this i'll just uh, create another data frame and now uh, you get the whole data frame uh, um, only those polarity are one okay so here are the data only uh, polarity with one so let's store them uh, this data frame into a data frame called comment comments positive okay i will store this data frame into comments positive data frame <coughs> Okay, so let's store this uh, into a data frame. Let's uh, comments uh, positive. So this is the positive data frame or positive uh, comment. Okay, positive text. <coughs> so by the same approach, uh, we'll determine the negative polarity or negative uh, sentences by giving this uh, value to minus one. Uh, instead of one okay so i think you got it what i am actually doing here okay so i just did uh, uh i set a uh, okay so what just i did here uh, i say that whoever comment has a polarity of one okay whoever uh, whoever comments has a polarity of one uh, that will consider uh, that will be considered as a positive comment or positive text okay and whoever uh, comments the polarity of my negative one and we consider this uh, comment as negative so this is the thing okay so our next uh, next we are going to know about what cloud so what is what cloud analysis okay what exactly what cloud analysis stands for and how to perform what cloud analysis so okay now uh, we are going to talk about word cloud uh, analysis okay so this is very important term we need to understand uh, clearly uh, word cloud analysis okay so imagine first of all imagine you are a data analyst at some company okay then let's you say <coughs> okay this is very important uh, to understand okay uh, so first of all let's understand word cloud uh, what cloud what is what cloud analysis and how to perform what cloud analysis okay first of all imagine you are a data scientist or a data analyst at a company and let's say you uh, have a you have done a survey uh, at a sample of 10000 person okay then uh, where you have to analyze uh, 
what are some of the famous technology in a particular uh, region or in a particular country okay so let's say you have some various technologies like uh, called c c++ uh, java machine learning data science okay and then uh, you uh, have to perform uh, word cloud analysis on them actually in word cloud analysis uh, bigger the font of the technology higher the priority of that particular technology let me give you a clear visual uh, for this uh, i will search google word cloud visual okay so these are the word cloud uh, visual okay so here uh, if we uh, look into this visualization uh, here covid is the okay maximum size uh, font size okay so that means uh, covid uh, has the highest priority among other uh, text okay so these are the representation uh, this is how uh, word cloud uh, actually represented uh, text okay by different font size and uh, with according to their different priority okay so we are going to perform exactly this type of analysis okay we are going to exactly create this type of visualization uh, into our analysis so for this i'll first install the uh, packages and libraries okay of word cloud so pip install uh, word cloud and okay installed and now import let's say from uh, word cloud import word cloud word cloud and and import another module uh, called stop word okay stop words so stop words actually uh, are those words that doesn't make any sense in our analysis so i will talk about it in further analysis okay so just forget this from for now okay okay now look for our positive comments okay only the comment text so here uh, these are the uh, comment text uh, which is uh, considered as positive right uh, because their polarity is one positive one okay so we are getting this here we are getting this data uh, as a uh, series okay what is series series is a one dimensional data structure of pandas module okay so uh, and we also have two dimensional uh, data structure which is called data frame that we are using till now okay uh, this is pandas data frame which is two dimensional and this is also pandas data structure but this is called uh, data series uh, which is one dimensional okay so <clears throat> okay to work further uh, uh, we need to uh, convert this or just uh, to store all of these data uh, of this series data into something like uh, known as a string okay uh, so for this uh, we'll use a join method uh, which is the inbuilt function okay to use join uh, we need to use a separator uh, i will use a space and then dot join and uh, i will join uh, comments positive <clears throat> comment positive and comment text okay okay so what this uh, line of code means that means uh, we are going to convert or or store these values okay these are now series values uh, but we need to uh, convert them to string to <coughs> work with them in further analysis okay okay so i will uh, store these values into uh, call total comments total comments okay 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 now uh, let me access first 10 uh, first 100 character of this string and now you will end up getting this uh, string okay or 100 character okay now we'll use a uh, word cloud function and dot generate to generate uh, total comments 
and I'll store this value into object or cloud. Okay, then okay now uh, I'll use here a stop word parameter uh, which will take a set of uh, stop words. Okay, stop words. Okay, so let me clear you this line. Okay, here we use a uh, word cloud function from the word cloud module. Okay, and then uh, we st use stop word uh, and the set of stop word. Actually, I already uh, mentioned before what is stop words means, and then uh, I will use uh, a plt dot figure which is a, a built-in function in matplotlib I will uh, define here uh, the fixed size of 15 by 15 size 15 by 5 size and then and then to show our word cloud plt dot I am show here I will pass this parameter word cloud okay and uh, I will use uh, plt dot axis of uh, Uh, because I want to uh, turn off the axis I don't want to see the axis okay that's why I uh, pass this uh, parameter into okay let's see now what we get uh, uh, we get an error like called type error uh, or cloud got an unexpected keyword argument stop word okay sorry here uh, stop words not stop word okay we need to uh, then execute this code this is what we get for uh, our positive comments okay so here uh, best is the I think best is the maximum uh, highest priority because it, this uh, got the highest size okay and then awesome and then perfect and beautiful so here we got all the positive comments okay so this is called uh, word cloud uh, positive sentence analysis okay or what cloud analysis and then I will do the same thing same approach for uh, negative words okay or negative sentences so copy this line and and here uh, instead of comment positive I will say comment negative okay uh, this one sorry uh, we just uh, need to give this negative and okay and execute this again and here okay now comment text and then we'll perform the same thing we'll create a same uh, figure so okay okay here we get the uh, word cloud visualization for uh, bad comments okay or negative comments so we just uh, implemented our uh, second uh, statement or second objective right word cloud of your positive and negative sentences so I think uh, you guys understand perfectly so this is what we get after uh, performing a word cloud analysis uh, in our uh, uh, comment text okay in this uh, comment text first of all uh, we what we did uh, we um, separate positive uh, comments and negative comments by seeing their polarity or by determining their polarity uh, one and minus one okay and then uh, we uh, imported uh, the necessary function and necessary module uh, word cloud and stop word to use them in our uh, further analysis and then uh, uh, we transformed or we con converted a series data into a string uh, by using dot join method and which is which takes as a separator to words okay and then after then uh, we uh, created the final visualization by a word cloud function which takes stop words uh, that will uh, that will remove all the uh, words uh, like we said before stop words that is unnecessary or that is that doesn't make any sense in our uh, 
analysis and then dot by dot generate method it will generate uh, this string or this okay this string uh, to be uh, workable <coughs> it will uh, and by dot generate method uh, it will uh, generate uh, this string uh, okay this is strings or comments of a string uh, into word cloud uh, visualization okay so that's all okay now we will be perform uh, now we will be perform emoji analysis okay so let's say i have a happy emoji and i want to count the uh, total number of dif uh, different kind of emojis and plot them uh, using pie chart or bar chart okay for this we can use any data structure called data frame dictionary list okay so first and foremost we need to install emoji for this uh, i will open a terminal and type pip install emoji okay then i'll import emoji and then uh, we'll load our data set top 10 okay top 5 okay here uh, in comment text feature uh, a comment is is trending okay this comment okay in comment text feature here is a comment trending and a emoji so our task is to find the uh, or ex extract this emoji out of this text okay so uh, for now just copy this uh, this particular text and in comment okay in comment variable okay a string okay and now uh, we'll be seeing how to extract this emoji out of this uh, text okay so for this uh, first and foremost i have to iterate uh, on top of this comment okay here for this uh, i will apply a list comprehension and i'll run a loop okay so C for I'll say C for C in a comment in this uh, text. Okay, uh, that means every character in this text. Uh, and now we'll uh, put a condition if C if the character is uh, in emoji dot data underscore emoji underscore data okay okay let's see uh, the output okay here uh, we successfully extract uh, this emoji out of this text okay okay now we'll be applying the same technique uh, in a large scale for this uh, for the whole common text feature okay so what we'll be doing uh, here i will uh, first of all i will make a list uh, called emoji list emoji underscore list okay and empty list and then i will uh, run a loop uh, for c in for comment in uh, df for comment in our data frame this feature name uh, is comment text okay comment text and and then i will run a uh, inner for loop where uh, i will find every character okay in the text so for character in comment okay and then i'll uh, apply or put a condition if character in emoji dot emoji data okay then uh, 
uh, I will append the emoji in this emoji list. Okay, so emoji list dot append uh, the character. Okay, so let's uh, run this line of code. Mm, okay, now let's check our uh, list emoji list. Uh, let's say I want to iterate uh, top 10 or 0 to 10 results. So here are the we successfully extract emojis from the text. Okay. Okay. Now uh, for our further analysis, uh, we will be importing a really handy uh, tool or library that is called counter okay so we'll import counter from collections so from collections import counter capital c okay remember this okay counter and let's uh, run this code and now actually what are we going to do we are going to uh, count these uh we are going to count the frequency of these emojis okay there are uh, the, uh single there are uh, single emoji but in many times okay so we are going to count the uh, unique uh, count all of the number of unique em emojis right so here uh, what we're going to do is um, Okay, we are going to uh, apply counter and then pass uh, emoji list as a parameter and then uh, dot okay we are going to uh, see the most commons most common emoji okay so here are a really big list but uh, we want to see only uh, like top 10 most common okay so here as a parameter we pass 10 uh, in most common function okay so we are getting top 10 uh, emojis by counting them okay so uh, okay so for our uh, visualization purpose uh, we'll what we'll be doing uh, we'll be do, uh, we'll be uh, putting these uh, emojis into x-axis and the counter or this count or frequency of this uh, each emoji into y-axis okay so for this purpose we need to store uh, only this uh, emoji into x-axis and uh, this uh, value uh, into y-axis okay okay so let's do this okay, i'll first create a list uh, okay uh, where i'll be getting counter uh, where i'll be getting the emojis okay dot most common 10 and okay for uh, now first let me show you if we want to access only the emojis we need to uh, add one, another uh, parameter called this is let's say zero okay now we are getting only this first uh, value okay first row so if we add another uh, feature, uh, parameter zero and then we are getting the uh, our desired emoji right so we are going to apply the same uh, technique in this list comprehension okay so here i'm going to uh, since we are going to uh, extract a, uh, all emojis so instead of giving a variable uh, sorry giving a constant value here i will be putting uh, i because we want to iterate every we want to uh, iterate every uh, row right that's why i'm putting here i uh, where i will be variable and then zero uh, for i in uh, range 10 okay and i will be storing this uh, value 
into emojis that I'll be uh, using as x axis in my visualization. Okay, so now run this code and let's check what we just what we have get and just check uh, what we have got. Mm. Okay, emojis here. Okay, and then uh, similarly. Uh, will extract the counter value how uh, as a frequencies okay uh, similarly we will uh, extract the frequency values okay uh, for this let's uh, create again uh, a list comprehension where I will be using counter emoji list as a parameter and then uh, dot most common most common and most common 10 okay and uh, one uh, I I'll, since I have to iterate all the row right that's why I'm using uh, I or as a variable as a second parameter and instead of zero I will be putting one as third in third parameter okay because uh, if we uh, put one here we will get the frequency values only so and then uh, for i in range 10 okay and then i will store this variable into called frequency and let's say what we get uh, in frequency okay now our next task uh, is going to plot the value of emoji and frequency into visualization okay okay so we can uh, plot them using python uh, panda matplotlib okay seaborn any kind of visualization library or data frame uh, like pandas okay but um, we'll be using plotly for this particular uh, visualization okay okay uh, import plotly okay dot graph objs as go geo okay and then uh, from I'll import from plotly dot offline import uh, I plot okay here uh, will be uh, uh, give a skeleton of our visualization okay uh, or will be uh, give a skeleton in our visualization using this go uh, okay and this i plot works like uh, plot plt okay in matplotlib plt because uh, this is uh, using this will be using to show the visualization okay to us and but uh, the so uh, this too uh, is very important uh, uh, for our uh, for completing our visualization okay perfectly okay so let's import them and first uh, using go I will create a bar chart okay where I will uh, put emoji uh, emojis to x-axis and y and put the frequency into y axis okay so this go since we uh, talk about it before uh, go is using to make a skeleton of our for our visualization okay so i will put the i will store this value into trace and uh, i plot then i plot is works like plt since uh, uh, and i plot is works like a plt dot show okay this is used to show the uh, visualization 
or display the visualization so using uh, iplot uh, we'll just uh, pass it pass trace as a parameter here uh, we get the visualization okay so in x-axis there are emojis and y-axis are frequencies and see here uh, we can uh, this is really handy uh, tool because so here we can save or uh, download this visualization okay and save them and here we can zoom in and zoom out and then select a particular area okay and we can zoom in and zoom out okay so that's all for now